Hey there, my name is Chris Mitchell. I'm a managed services consultant with Proval Tech. Uh, in today's video, I want to go through a few um, quick settings, quick changes to be aware of in uh, some of the newer versions of ConnectWise Control. Um, so first thing, once you get logged in, you're in your administrative interface. Uh, quick uh, area to double check is right here. Make sure all your users have 2FA. Uh, as you can see in our instance right now, we have a bunch disabled. Uh, this is just a test instance, so nothing to be too concerned about, but this should always be green. Make sure all users have 2FA. Make sure you're on the latest supported version. Uh, these boxes generally should all be checked. Uh, occasionally, you'll notice if you um, are using different ports um, or certain SSL settings that this one uh, may be a red X, even though it is, for all intents and purposes, working fine. Um, after upgrades, it's always a good idea to go into your advanced settings area. Go into your quick settings. And you can review some of the settings that are available to you in the program. Um, quick settings has a lot of different um, settings that control what the end user sees, uh, what your technicians see, um, and just some granular access as far as who's allowed to auto automatically connect. Um, some nice tips to hide a guest wallpaper. You can always force the connection banner up at the top. You can show the little balloon down in the bottom corner. Uh, this is where you can control your icon for control. This is separate from your automate icon. Um, and a few other different settings here. A couple options about backstage settings, uh, which is where you can get into uh, command line and PowerShell. If you go into your other settings, uh, a couple more options here about connecting to the machine, um, what options or, or security prompts that the end user can get and the technicians can get. Uh, if they can do file transfers, uh, credential storage is a good one where they can actually, you can prompt them or they can right click and store credentials um, if you don't have them. Um, and just a few other settings, you have some settings here for uh, where what the folder names are called when they get created on uh, your system, uh, where the captures go, toolboxes go, things like that. And another good menu or good setting is under web config and settings. In here, uh, this one right here, automatically update your agent versions. Uh, as you upgrade control, um, if you don't upgrade your actual control agents themselves, they may still be running a really old version even though you've upgraded control. So it's always a good idea to make sure this box is checked. Again, you have some default settings here. You can control the screen quality, sound settings, um, and down here you have some additional settings around how long tokens are good for um, and different things like that. And back on the main page, you have a whole bunch of different settings here about uh, your toolbox, uh, you know, screen settings, audio settings, uh, remote printing options, um, and overall your, your general visibility or what you see on the screen here can be controlled under the appearance tab here. So you can go to the dark mode, you can switch over to a lighter mode. Um, dark mode is all the rage these days though. <laughs> uh, you can check your license status. Um, and overall, just a good area to be able to go in and kind of check on, on how things are running after every upgrade. Uh, if you have any further questions, please feel free to always reach out to us. Thanks. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. We share a new video each week to share our knowledge on ConnectWise Automate, Manage, or pretty much any other managed services product that you guys use. To learn more about what we do, please visit ProValTech.com. There's a link in the video and in the description below. Have a good day.